Hi, my name is Graham Warnell and I want to talk to you about how important the funding for GOSH is. And I want to tell you about this through the journey our daughter Nina went through. Nina was born in 2012, February, uh, in Poland whilst I was working abroad. She was a nine pound baby, everything seemed fine, and after a couple of weeks, mother and daughter came home. In March 2012, we noticed that Nina was starting to stop feeding. She was sleeping a lot, sometimes all the way through the night, and she was becoming quite listless and inactive. We saw numerous doctors, and in April 2012, Nina was admitted to hospital in Poland. The doctors identified she had an immunological disorder, but one they had never seen before. Nina was born with no immune system. She had already then contracted rotavirus, sepsis and bacterial pneumonia. In front of our eyes in hospital, Nina was slowly dying. After lots of frantic research and frantic phone calls, we managed to get Nina airlifted from Poland to Great Roman Street. Nina's diagnosis was that she had ADA SCID, a very rare immunological disorder that affects only girls. Nina's lack of an immune system meant a cough or a common cold could be fatal, and she was already battling to stay alive. We really didn't know what to do. Fate just seemed to be totally against Nina at every step. At the same time, however, Great Ormond Street were carrying out their gene therapy research program and they were looking for children to participate. So we agreed that Nina, not knowing what would happen, would be part of the trial. And she was one of the first children to be given the new vector of the gene therapy treatment Great Ormond Street were undergoing. We lived in Great Ormond Street from May to August 2012. It became our second home and the people there became like a extended family to us. It was incredible the way they looked after and cared for all of us. Eventually she was eating, sleeping, getting bigger and getting stronger. So in May 2013, a year after we arrived, Nina was strong enough to have her gene therapy treatment. And then eventually in July 2014, just over two years later, we returned back to Poland to finish the life we had started here. We continue to visit Gosh every single year for checkups for Nina and from the treatment Nina received and the trial, over 40 children have now been treated. 40 children who, like our worst fears for Nina, would have died. The support from Gosh is not just for the child, it's for the whole family. They kept us sane. They checked on our psychological state and our mental well-being and gave us breaks that we needed and helped us with accommodation and there was, you know, there was nothing too small or too large they couldn't help us with. It was absolutely incredible. They comforted us through the whole two year period. Nina's now at school now. She's perfectly normal. She climbs trees, she swims in the lake, she plays with her sister, and she's totally unaware of what happened. But as parents we're aware, we remember it every day. And we know that without the funding, Nina would have died and other children would die as well. So, thank you for everyone who funds and thank you for everyone who will fund in the future. It's essential. Thank you. Thank you for all of the doctors for making me better. And when I grow up, I will be a vet. And the sick animals, I will make them better and they will be better. And they won't be any more sick.